Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Autovox M6 dash cam and backup camera. Can you see that on there? There you go. Um, inside the box to start with, you've got a very nice little, oh, little one year warranty card. So a super user program, reviewer, Amazon reviewer thing. And a, a, a very nice little manual actually printed properly. Um, contains all the information you need. This is a, un a different type of, uh, of rear um, dash cam mirror we've, than we've seen in the past because the screen is touch screen, um, which is un uh, a new technology. It's quite a large unit, as you'll see here, oh, 30 centimeters or something, quite big. Touch screen here, which uh, we'll see in the car. Camera on the back, the clamps, which you attach to your existing camera and on the top here you have your power um, and your SD micro SD card slot and at the bottom here just a, an on off button actually just there so oh, it's actually gone on now she has a bit of charge in it look at that look at that bit of charge already in there you need to put the SD card in it there you go now you can see how uh, how large the LCD is and uh, it has touchscreen. Haha, <laughs> there you go. So that's quite cool. So let's run through a few other things here. It's a bit difficult to get this with the lighting. We'll try, have a go. So you have settings here. So if you slip on that, you have movie mode, um, the what uh, what resolution, so up to 2304 by 1296. Not sure when that's interpolated, but it doesn't matter because it'll be quite good as we'll see. Movie quality, super fine or fine. Oops. And clip time, etc. Um, how long you want this, the loop to go on for. Sound, whether you keep the mic on or off, it's entirely up to you. And then again, just the basic things that you want to use for making the system work for you. So it's quite comprehensive. It has quite a lot of cool stuff with it. Inside the box, again, you have the power lead, which you'd expect um, plugs into the cigar lighter socket. And this is the power lead for the rear parking camera, which is this little baby here, which slots in just uh, on the back of the vehicle. Um, it has uh, prongs here with sticky pads on it, so you can stick it by the license plate, etc. And because it's a touchscreen, you get a little touchscreen cleaning cloth. How nice. And the clamps. So fairly uh, simple um, con contents, but all useful. Let's have a look at it in the car. Right, the first thing that needs to be done is to put on these little rubber brackets which hold it to the existing rear view mirror. That's what secures it, it's quite um, safe. You get a spare set of them as well. You can play with them if you want. And then it just goes over the top here. Right, so let me just uh, put that on. One of the first things that happens when you put the uh, micro SD card in is you get a, a a request to say do you want to format the card so you have to do that because it's uh, that's what it needs and then it's just a matter of installing it onto the rear view mirror right well this is it plugged into the um, cigar unit and as you see we get a little red light when you turn it on and then the actual unit comes on focusing on that yes it's a bit difficult because it's looking at four different things but there you go there's the and you can adjust the uh, the camera as you need which is quite nice so you can push it you know to see exactly what you want to see if you want to make it more central or on the side there you go as I said earlier the rear view camera goes into the license plate uh, at the rear and you feed the cable from uh, the front you plug it into the AV port on the rear view mirror or the dash cam mirror and then feed the, uh, the long cable all the way through from the front to the back and attach it to this. Uh, the idea is that you attach the cable from uh, the power, uh, power cable or the trigger cable to the rear uh, reversing lamp 
and that gives you the, the trigger which turns it on when you put going to reverse. I can't do it into this one because I've already got uh, <laughs> a reverse camera already working. But that's the, the basic concept of it. And there are videos which show it actually working. So it works fairly well. The, the thing I like about this, particularly this model, is that the manual actually gives you a fairly detailed description of how to do the rear um, view cable and everything which is the first time and how to mount the camera which is the first time i've seen that level of detail uh, in a manual for one of these products this is a, a, a definitely a next generation product in that respect much more professionally produced than some of the ones we've looked at in the past actually well there you have it the autobox m6 uh, dash cam rear view mirror um, the one thing you you will the more astute will notice that you do need to use your little cleaning rag quite a lot because it will pick up the marks if you use the touchscreen although you, there's no real reason you should use the touchscreen in general use really yeah i like it we'll put up some review video just to show everybody what it looks like uh, when it's actually you know recording and stuff quite neat <laughs> Right onto Hutcliffe Wood Road, then turn right to stay on Hutcliffe Wood Road. Take the next right to stay on Hutcliffe Wood Road. Continue onto Hutcliffe Wood Road for half a mile.